Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Today is Saturday the 8th of July 2023 and it's 10.30 in the morning and today I'm at the uh, Clangothlan High Stedford uh, It's going to be a no talking so just let the sights and sounds do the talking for me so see you at the end Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's have a look around.
Hope you're all still here. I uh, thought I'd let you know I won't be able to record in the pavilion because uh, it's copyright and S4C are broadcasting. So, but hopefully, anything on the outside, I will uh, be able to uh, film. Let's hope anyway. I'll shut up now. They were formed in January 2017, as I said, in the village of Carroll, conducted by Lee Mason and formed while she was on maternity leave after mounting pressure from a couple of the local ladies who wanted to form a singing party. The choir's numbers and popularity has grown rapidly over the last five years. This is their programme. They'll begin with uh, a traditional nursery rhyme, sing a song of sixpence, and then a Welsh folk song, Dead in a Born Manor, it's about a bitten bird flying over the Brecon beacons to get to market with some apples. That all makes sense. And then Tundra, which is a beautiful piece to portray the intense beauty of the Norwegian Tundra, and then a lively Hungarian folk song known as the Dancing Song by Kodai. Our adjudicators for this competition are Brian Hughes and Camilla King. Please don't go so you please give them a very warm welcome. And if our adjudicators are happy that we begin, yes, they are. Rochlois or Kenes, please give a very warm welcome. Or Gumri from Wales, Shisha Avon, and their conductor Lee Mason.
to Trinidad and Tobago, really special. Anyone could guess? What's that? Say it loud so they can hear. Pan, the steel pan is our national instrument. Say the steel pan. The steel pan. That's right. And it's dear to our hearts. So, you heard some of our music and now I'll, I'll introduce to you the steel pan and something that might sound a little more familiar to you. I hope you enjoy.
is the Manchester Community Choir and their conductor, Rose. Thank you very much. I'm going to jump off that way. Does that work? Ooh, it does. There we go. Right, we're going to get cracking. We're going to sing for about half an hour. Enjoy. was, of course, by the, the late, great Otis Redding. Our next song is called I Wish I Knew How It Feel to Be Free. This is a jazz song written by the American musicians Billy Taylor and Dick Dallas in 1963 and arranged by our very own Rose Hodgson. The song served as an anthem for the civil rights movement in America in the 1960s and a widely played version was recorded by Nina Simone. The music later was used as a theme tune for the BBC's Film Night with Barry Norman. Do you remember that? 
This is one of my favorite choir songs, not just because the words are about freedom and liberation, but also because I'm a bird watcher. Listen carefully to the last verse and you might see what I mean. love song called Pokari Kari Anna and it was composed communally about the time of the start of the First World War in 1914 and quickly became very popular with Maori soldiers serving in that conflict. Then in 1919 it was published by two East Maori politicians and since then it's, it's gained worldwide recognition and extreme popularity and the most poignant time that it was sung was spontaneously by members of the House of Commons in New Zealand and the spectators in the gallery in, in 2013 at the time of the passing of the legalization of the same-sex marriage bill in New Zealand. And it's the, the reason absolutely that it speaks very much to me and I hold it very dear to my heart. Thank you. <laughs> 